What is going on guys, Casual Savage here, in this video I'm sure you how to get film looks on Sony Vegas Pro 12 and 13. So first of all, you're just going to go ahead and insert your clip. Then from the start, go to the start of your video, click the event pattern and crop. Make sure this one is... No, make sure this one's checked, and then from the bottom of it, just drag it up like that. You can see it's already given it the film looks, so like that. If your head like cuts off or something, you can always like drag it up like that, and then you've still got it all in, so it's all good. Just fix that again. So we'll do it. Just enable snapping so it doesn't go out of place. Oops, there we go. And now. What you do, uh, actually, I just gotta cut this video short because my intro actually comes into this video, so about there, just cut it off. Click properties, disable for example, but don't uncheck maintain aspect ratio this time. So then, what you need to do, you need to get your film looks in. So we'll go. We'll start from here. You can see I've already got a preset set up for this. So we go to soft contrast in the video effects tab and just draw. Well, you would drag on one big net, and I'm going to be dragging this one on. You can see straight away what it's done. And if I just show you here, you need to be copying these into your right now. So just copy what I've done. So you can pause the video and then go to the big net and copy what I've done there as well. After that, type up here Film Effects and click Save. That way, when you come to your video effects on Soft Contrast, it's just going to be there straight away. The next thing we're going to go to is Color Curves. And again, I've got my preset set up. And Film Looks right here. You'll be dragging on the default one. But I'm going to be dragging this one on. Okay. So now we go down again. This one, a bit co more complicated to copy, but... Yeah, just copy what I've done here. So I'm, I'm currently on red. Just copy what I've done with the arrows. So like that. Green is like that. And blue is like this. You can pause the video as I go through them. Just so you can go ahead and catch up with it. So then you want to go to color corrector right here. Again, you're going to be adding this one on. But I'm going to be adding my preset on. And here we go. Just copy what I've done again here. I think that's just the same. And these two have changed as you can tell. Just copy them in. And then, oh, you can't see that. Let me just get to this. Oh, this is not good, is it? Okay, one minute. I'll sort this out. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. oh. No, there we go, there we there we go. So just copy what I've done. Here you can pause the video real quick and just copy what I've done. That's probably a better way for you to see it as well. Okay, so Oh, I forgot to add on that one. Type in what you want to call it again, then save it so it saves you going back to it. But yeah, that's it. You've done your film effects. What is going on guys, Casual Savage here. Today it is Q and A School Edition. Let's go. I probably used a bad video for an example for it because it's just me talking for an intro. So yeah, if this actually works on card videos as well. If you've seen me do I uh, edit for some clans. If you're seeing me do one of them, I actually use all the effects I've showed you today, and it does work really good. And yes, yeah, been Casual Savage here. Hope you've liked the video. Please subscribe, rate, and peace. <laughs>